Humpty Dumpty. He's always falling down. Another Thursday's thought. Uh, continuing in the series um, as a child. This may be the last of this series. I'm not sure. Um, I, I've had a, a couple of ideas. Actually, something happened the other day, so I'll probably share uh, something with him. Uh, happened the other day that God, uh, God kind of told me to share, but I wanted to at least. Um, and this out one more time, and of course you guys saw the intro, um, Humpty Dumpty, uh, and I, at first when I, I saw it, it, it came on my mind automatically, but I was like, it's just a quick little song, how does that really work, but um, just thinking that, you know, when I said all the king's horses, and, and when I looked into it a little bit, some people said, oh, Humpty Dumpty was a king and he he died in a battle and his horse's nickname was Wall. I don't know. Then they had another thing that said, um, what was it? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. That was, there was another thing that said, oh no, Humpty Dumpty really stood for something else. But um, what it stands for today is us re need, realizing the need um, at times, and God allowing things um, so we can see our dependence and our need for Him. Uh, I think the problem with this and what came on my automatically when I thought about the this nursery rhyme, you know, all the king's horses and all the king's men could not put Humpty back together again. And automatically I thought, you know, they were relying on the wrong power. They should have relied on the king's power, not ours. Um, and I believe sometimes God, there's many different reasons, like I've said in other uh, videos, why God allows things. Sometimes, it, you know, he allows it for discipline, our own de decision, things like that. But uh, a lot of times he does a lot of things, and we'll see a, a few um, scripture verses and Bible stories that... Um, we see that God allowed things and the whole purpose of troubles and things like that were that we cannot handle it. Um, you know, there's the, uh, the scripture a lot of people use, God will not, God, people like to say, God will not give you what you cannot handle. Um, they take that from the scripture, I should have wrote down the reference, but they take that from the scripture where it says, God will not put on, as far as temptation, more than what we can bear, and he'll always make a way out. Um, God will, I believe, uh, give us more than we can handle by ourselves. Um, not more than what we can handle with Him, buddy. Lay, lay, book. Oh, you like? I think you're just trying to learn how to count. One, two, lay down. Don't make me get to three. One, 
two, two and a half. Come on, man, lay down, man. Hey, you make me look like a punk. Anyway, um, but just a couple quick scriptures that I want you to think about. I'm not sure what everybody's going through. I, I know a little bit of different circumstances in some people's lives and, um, We, even as, as Christians, and the Word of God says it, you know, it, it rains on the, the righteous and the unjust alike, the, the saint and the sinner. We, we're, we're in a fallen, imperfect world. Everybody has weeds that grow outside. Yeah, you get weed and feed and maybe try to help it out like that, but since the fall of man and the curse that sin has brought onto this world, um, there's sickness, there's disease, there's little dogs that don't listen. Hey, but lay down, dude. <clears throat> but that being said, lay down. Lay. All the way. All the way, dude. Thank you. Um, but throughout God's word, we see many things that God allowed that we wouldn't understand. Even, uh, you know, the Jewish uh, believers didn't allow... I mean, didn't understand why, you know, if Christ, you know, even his disciples, you know, oh, the Messiah is here, let's take over the Roman government and everything like that. But as Jesus told, um, told them, my, my kingdom is not of this world. Um, but as we see, if you look at the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in Daniel chapter 3. Um, you know, he, th they said after they were threatened by Nebuchadnezzar, like, like we're not worried about it. Our, our God can deliver us. Um, but even if you don't, even if he doesn't, we're still not going to bow down to you because of our faith in God. And, I'm sure that people looking on at that moment were like, man, God, you know, they're, they're God. I guess he's not really, he's not going to save them. But God allowed them to be cast into the fire. To where even when they opened up the furnace, the guards died because of the heat. It was that, that quick they died. But these three that got thrown into the fire, um, didn't even smell like smoke, were not burned. The only thing burned was the the ropes they were tied with. Um, and you know, they, they saw Nebuchadnezzar said, didn't we throw three in there? And they said, then why do I see four in there? And they're walking around and one looks like the, the son of God, you know? Um, also we see in uh, John 11, uh, when Lazarus gets sick, they come to him and say, oh, master, you know, uh, your friend is, uh, is sick, and <laughs> just, just is like okay. And he he tells him this is not going to end. In that. Um, in actually verse four, John eleven four, uh, Jesus heard this. He said, "This will not end in death, uh, but the glory of God. It, it's for the glory of God that the Son of God will be glorified through it." Um, and then when he went there, when he finally went, even Mary and Martha, you know, they're like, oh, if you would have, if you would have been here, uh, you know, he would have died. And, you know, it goes to the whole thing. You, you guys don't believe that, you know, they can be raised from the dead. And they said, oh, yeah, in the end times and all that stuff. But, yes, Jesus could have went automatically and just healed the sickness and it wouldn't have had to end it that. God allowed it so that his glory could be seen and shown and that others would come to believe in him. Uh, there's the other story, and this, this one just popped in my head about the, uh, there was an, another time where he delayed going to heal someone and when he walked to the house, the little girl, you know, supposedly was already dead, they're mourning and everything like that. And he's like, nah, she's just sleeping and raises her from the dead. Um, last, story was uh, the blind man, the one that was born blind in John uh, chapter 9. And they, they asked him, oh, what was it, God? Was it his sin or his parents' sin that made him blind? 
And Jesus said unto them in, in verse number three, uh, neither nor this uh, man nor his parents uh, sinned. But this happened that wow, my handwriting is horrible. And once again, I need to get a big print Bible. But um, I will paraphrase. He said it wasn't his his parents nor him, but this happened so that the glory of God um, could be seen and, you know, that the Son of God might be glorified through the situation and people would come to believe in him. Um, but I don't know what anyone's going through. We all have our trials and things in this life. Uh, we all on different levels and at different times have bigger things at times and smaller things at others. But, um, but just know this, that even when Job questioned God, and God said, you really want to question me? Okay, I'm going to answer. He's like, actually, let me, let me, let me question you. I'm God. Let me go ahead and be the one that questions. Don't do it. Come here. Come here. He said, let me be the one that questions. He said, where were you? And I formed earth. Where were you when I separated light from darkness? Where were you all these things? And Joe was like, okay. And God was like, why are you going to question me? And it was, really, dude? But get over here. Come on, we're almost done. All I'm trying to say is whatever you have going on in your life, it's, it's not a surprise to God. Um, he knows, and he, he did allow it. Whether it be to work something out in you, or it may even be to work something out in somebody else that you don't even see that is watching. We will not know until we get to the other side, but know that God is good. He loves us, and that all things together, not everything is good, but all things together work for the good of those who believe. Um, and if it's only to maybe sometimes humble us or that his glory be shown through us, it's going to work for our glory. But I pray everyone's doing well. I'm going to have to go beat this dog real quick. I'm joking. I don't beat my dog. You saw him scratch me in the head and stuff. But, um, love y'all. I do pray that everyone is doing good, but I pray if anybody is struggling with life, nor the, you know, some of the different things we deal with in this life, that your hope is in Christ and that you do believe and know that he only wants the best for you because he loves you and that it will all work out in the end, whether it be on this side or the other side, we have to have our trust in him. But love you guys. I'll keep y'all in prayer. Keep me in prayer. And oh, although you're being so good now, look at you. You just want to, just want me to hold you. Anyway, pray y'all doing good. Keep me in your prayers, and we will see you next week on another Thursday's thought. Bye.